What's up, YouTube? Aren't they pretty? As the title says, these are my first impressions of the Ultra Vanish Tempo. I'm not sponsored to make this video, I bought these shoes with my own money. So everything I say in this video is my honest opinion. So the Ultra Vanish Tempo is considered the Ultra Vanish Carbon's training buddy. In other words, leave the Vanish Carbon for racing day, and then you use these pretty ones for the training days. Because Alta doesn't recommend running in carbon fiber plated running shoes for training days, they released the Alta Vanish Tempo. And it's a very similar shoe to the carbons. But there are a few details that make them quite significantly different, which in the end will make them more comfortable and more durable. Some people may wear them as daily trainers, but honestly, I think they're too expensive to use just as daily trainers. I will primarily be using them for my fast days, some tempo runs, some intervals, basically any run where I really need to pick up the pace. I signed up for my next half marathon, which will be in the first weekend of October in Bremen, Germany. So they come at a good time. I will obviously be racing in the Alto Vanish Carbons, but I didn't want to train too much in them. So I decided to get the Alto Vanish Tempo for my training days. They have the exact same stack height, the exact same uh, midsole. So the Ego Pro midsole, the fit is the same, but that's a basically it. The rest of the shoe is a completely different shoe. And just another heads up, this is my first impressions, not a full review. I still want to run a little bit more in them before I give my final opinion on them. And if you don't know who I am, I'm TV Miller. I'm unsponsored. I make running videos. So if you want to support me, feel free to subscribe. But now back to the shoes. When it comes to Ultra, I'm usually between a size 10 and 10 and a half US. So it's always a guessing game which size to get next for which shoe. Um, I've now tended to get the size 10 almost in all my shoes, except for the slim fit line. If you are unaware of Ultra's uh, slim line, so it's mainly the Rivera, the uh, Vanish uh, Carbon and Tempo, as well as the upcoming Outroad. Those are the slim line. They're still wider than most mainstream brands, but uh, they're slimmer than most of the other Ultras. The reason why I mentioned that is for the Ultra Rivera, I decided to get a size 10 and a half, simply because they're a little bit too snug for me. So I wanted the extra space for my toes to splay out a little bit, especially on longer and hotter days when my feet just swell up. I just need the extra space. But for, the, for most of the other shoes, I get a size 10. For the Alto Vanish Carbon, I decided to go for a size 10, simply because I wanted a snug fit for racing day. I didn't want to have extra weight and I didn't want to have extra room. I just wanted a nice snug fit and they fit perfectly. They weren't even too tight for me, despite being a slim fit. As for the Alto Vanish Tempo, I decided to go for a 10 and a half. Also because it has a little bit more padding, so it's a little bit fuller inside the shoe. And I'll be running long training days in them, also long tempo runs. And I would, I would be afraid that my feet would swell up and just get uncomfortable in a size 10. And as I said, the Rivera is 10 and a half. So I thought I need, needed a 10 and a half for the Ultra Vanish Tempo as well. But that's not the case. I got a, a 10 and a half now, but I think a 10 would have been fine. So if you already have the Ultra Vanish Carbon, I'd say get the same size for the Ultra Vanish Tempo. If you're still considering getting the Rivera, I would always go up half a size and you can just get the Ultra Vanish Tempo in your regular running shoe size. So first impressions, I put them on and they fit fine. They're very comfortable. The midsole is very bouncy, firm, but bouncy. As you can see, I needed to use the runner's knot and the laces are long enough for that. I'm not such a big fan of the lacing system. As you can see, it uh, took me a while to actually get a good um, tight fit over the top of my foot. But once I did, it was fine. It stayed in place. I may change the system a little bit uh, for my next few runs. Looking at the tongue, it gave me some haunting flashbacks of the Ultra Torrent 5, which uh, if you don't know, it was very sharp at the top. It felt like cardboard and it was really cutting inside the front of your ankle. These are luckily slightly softer, not perfect, but softer. So it would seem that Alta learned from their mistake with the Alta Torn 5. The length of the tongue is also pretty good, not too long and not too short. Maybe it could have been a little bit longer, but honestly, um, it's actually fine. Even with the runner's knot, it doesn't, the laces don't cut into your ankle. So there's plenty of protection there. Even though the further down you go in the tongue, you do feel quite some um, like padded material. I don't know if you really needed all that padding. But then again, it does make it nice and comfortable. As I said, it's a slim fit and it looks significantly slimmer than other ultras, but really not as slim as other mainstream brands. So they do look very slim. And fortunately, 
I have regular wide feet, so nothing too wide, nothing too slim, and my feet fit really well in there. With the first version of the Rivera, my feet felt a little bit too snug in there, and I don't have this problem at all with the uh, Alto Vanish uh, Tempo, nor with the Alto Vanish Carbon. So they've changed something slightly. My toes also have plenty of space to kind of splay out, and I don't notice a single thing of it being a slim fit. The upper around the toe box is fairly thin. It's actually very similar to the Ultra Vanish Carbon. The material is the same and it's really breathable. But the further you go back towards the heel cup, the thicker it gets. The material really gets quite thick. After my run yesterday, I noticed that the heel cup had soaked up a lot of my sweat. And this is the first time, please correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first time that I'm noticing that the Ultra shoe has a structured heel cup. It's really firm. I know that the Rivera has something slightly there, but nothing too crazy. Um, but all other altars that I know, they don't have anything in the heel cup. Here it's flexible, but the further down you go, there's really something structured in there, keeping the foot in place. And I always thought that Alto didn't want to do that, so maybe they changed something there. So I'm surprised why they added something in there. The Alto Vanish Carbon doesn't have any structuring there. And the outsole looks the same as the Vanish Carbon. But according to Ultra, it's a different material. It's a slightly more durable rubber. And after my first one, it actually looks that way. My Vanish Carbons started to kind of wear down immediately after my first run, as you can see. But the Vanish Tempos, they're still looking good after one run, but I obviously need to put some more runs in them to kind of test that out, but it's looking good. But that is exactly what they were also made for. They're meant to be more durable. And the Vanish Carbons are supposed to be for racing day, as light as possible. So that's why they may be using some less durable materials. All these differences that they made to the Vanish Temple compared to the Vanish Carbon makes the more comfortable uh, shoe. So you can log quite some kilometers in them and your feet will stay comfortable. And it also makes the more durable shoe, but obviously that does come at the cost of the weight. So my Ultra Vanish Tempos, in a size 10 and a half. They weigh in at 281 grams. And my Vanish Carbons, in a size 10, I weigh them at 234 grams. So there's at least a 50 gram difference between these two shoes, but with a half a size difference. As for the ride, they feel pretty much identical. Obviously the Carbons have a carbon fiber plate inside, but I didn't really notice it being missing in uh, the tempos. The ride felt good, I could really speed up. Also the rocker shape really makes you want to run faster. Give me a few more weeks before I can actually review them. If you want to know how the Vanish Carbons helped me get my personal best in my previous half marathon last spring, then check out this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to know anything else about the Vanish Tempo, and I'll include it in my future video. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye.